He starts painting the Mona Lisa, you know, when he's in late middle age in 1503. He was born in 1452, so he's in his 50s. And it's for a cloth merchant in Florence. It's his wife, Lisa. For 16 years, Leonardo carries it around with him. Schlepping it around, right? On on mules mules across the Alps to get into France when he, you know, where he's going to die. And uh, the King of France is his patron. And hundreds of layers of very thin brush strokes of glaze as he perfects, for example, the corner of the lips. When he started doing it, he hadn't done all of his anatomy work. But then he dissects the human eye, discovers that the center of the retina sees black and white detail, the corners of the retina see shadows better. And so he keeps perfecting the smile. So this, the black and white detail on the edge of the smiles turn down, right. the shadows and colors turn up, so the smile is interactive. As your eyes wander past it, the smile lights up and goes off. This is something that was just not just perfectionism, it was connecting science to art. Right, it's, it's remarkable. His tech, that, another thing, again, that I learned that I would not have known without this book was his technique. His technique was particular to him and he perfected it over and over and over and it's just, it's, it's remarkable. You call the Mona Lisa the greatest painting of all time. You, you yeah. believe it. You know, and I think, you know, if you've seen the Mona Lisa, the first time you see it, you may be a bit disappointed. It's sort of, that's all there is. That's it. And right. usually there's like 500 tourists all doing selfies in front of it, so you can hardly see it. Yeah. But once I learned about the science and the painting of it, and I was given a nice opportunity to see it after hours, and so you could spend some time looking at it, you see that all of his feel for the main issue of his life, yep. which is what do we know about the cosmos and how do we fit in? What do we know about creation and how are we a part of it? And that winding river connected to the roads of civilization, connected almost to the arteries of Lisa, and the way her smile is mysterious and elusive and her eyes are done, yep. you see not just a portrait, but a narrative, dramatic, emotional, uh, interactive painting.